Let's find out how a soap dispenser works. I placed a graphic of the teardown of this pump. From left to right, we have a nozzle, a piston, and an upper valve assembly, a spring, a check valve, and a piston chamber and feed tube. So now let's go over how this works. First, a force is applied down on the top or nozzle of the soap dispenser. This is marked with a yellow arrow. This force causes the spring to compress and turn the kinetic energy from pushing down into stored spring potential energy. At the same time, the upper section of the pump piston, marked with a purple trapezoid, gets forced to open due to the friction on the sides of the pump chamber. This allows the fluid to flow through the center and through a hole that is within the assembly and through the nozzle of the soap dispenser. Here is a clip of the assembly opening and closing for your reference. There is a check valve that is basically a ball at the bottom of the piston chamber. The pressure in the fluid, when the plunger is being compressed, causes it to be forced down and remain closed. The purple piston compresses the fluid, which causes the fluid to want to go to an area of lower pressure, and therefore goes through the top nozzle of the soap dispenser and into the atmosphere. So now, when we stop applying a force to the pump nozzle, the potential energy stored in the spring is released and turned into kinetic energy, and the pump nozzle raises. This causes the purple piston upper valve to close due to the friction on the side of the piston chamber. No fluid can go through the top assembly at this stage. The piston fluid chamber is now in a state of low pressure, which causes the higher pressure of the soap or fluid in the reservoir to push its way past the ball check valve and fill the piston chamber. Then the process repeats. Pole update. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.